Hey YouTube, this is DR for Tiger Tech and today I'm going to be doing a special unboxing of D-Link's DIR655 Extreme End Gigabyte Router. Here it is. So this router is 6 times the range of conventional router and it has 14 times the speed of conventional router. It also has something cool which is called SharePort technology which you can hook up let's say printers or external USB drives, external hard drives and use it over Wi-Fi. Let's say you hook up a printer, you don't need to hook up any wires or anything, you can just print over wireless. And this is Dealing's green product, which is their way of saying that it's environmentally friendly and that it uses less power than ordinary routers. Now let's take a look around the box here. Here's the front of the box. And there's a quick glance of the side and back, which has the regular information there. And um, what it is compatible with. So this is compatible with Mac or PC. Now let's take my big old unboxing knife and let's unbox this bad boy. This is this router is great for gaming. is the box so here's the CD this is a guide just has some quick step on how to install this router here are the three antennas this is the vertical stand the power cable here's the router itself we'll take a look at this later Here's an Ethernet port, and there are some screws too if you want to mount this baby on a wall or something. So let's take a look around at the uh, router. So it says here, stop, insert CD, and one wizard, wizard first. So you have to do that before you take this out. Now that we have the antennas hooked up to this, let's take a look at the front of the router itself. So here we have some light indicators that you can't see because it's not powered on right now. What you can see is there's a 1, 2, 3, 4, which is primarily, it tells you if there is anything hooked up to these ports over here. So that's pretty much it. And here it has the power if it's on. And there are, you know, just typical um, indicators for routers. And this is the back. Now let's do a quick comparison of this router and D-Link's own DIR615. Let's do a quick comparison of the boxes first because they say this router is environmentally friendly but this box managed to pack up everything that was inside the DIR655 and the box is much smaller so this leaves less carbon footprints when it comes to shipping and stuff so I don't know what's with the green there. Now let's take a look at the two devices. So here's the DIR615. I've been testing this one out for about two months now. It has the same ports at the back pretty much other than the USB port and obviously this is a step down model so it has two antennas. They both run on 2.4 gigahertz and it has the four, four ethernet ports, one for the internet over here, the reset button, the power plug this does not come with the USB so you cannot uh, hook up printers or anything like that to it let's say you have a PlayStation 3 and you're playing online let's say Call of Duty or something and if someone else wants to use the internet it's really slow so if you're gonna use the, this router let's say if you're looking for something for basic usage then yeah it's a great router it 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 more than it's more than enough for basic usage but if you're a heavy gamer I wouldn't recommend this one so there's not much of a price difference when it comes to this router. This one is going for it's 99 Canadian dollars and this one is 69 Canadian dollars. 
So for the price difference, I would highly suggest that you go for the DIR655 because it's much faster and you also get something extra which is the port at the back for the USB as well. So that's a little quick comparison. Thank you for watching. If you do like this video, please rate, subscribe and comment.